All right, welcome everyone to a Pablo run. This is going to be Chem's Jade Tick Tank. We do, of course, now have Obsidian Skin Jade as well. It's very exciting. Obsidian Coat, I suppose. I mean, it's it's a skin because it's a, a different, you know, this is a skin, right? Jade skins, but it, it feels weird to say Obsidian Skin Jade. Anyway, I'm going to play wheels, I think. I could play rifles instead of wheels, but... I'm a little worried about getting into like a heavy infantry war and just not having anything apart from infantry. Uh, I also considered Phantom versus Stealth Tank. I think the Phantom would be better, but it's so expensive playing Chems and Tick Tank that I don't really want a 150 cost anti-air unit. So I'm going to play the Stealth Tank, but I might change the deck as we as we play. We'll have to we'll have to see. We'll be climbing that ladder with this deck. And see how it goes. Could be good. Establishing battlefield control. Three, two, one. New objective build. Uh, we're wheel opening. All right. Ganicus. Another Solomon player. Love to see it. We're going to try and get some exciting Jade action, but of course, uh, it is hard to argue with the fact that Jade is just the worst commander. Get the Chem Warriors ready. See what our opponent tech switches into to counter Chem Warrior. I'm gonna get a bike squadron, yeah, in preparation. He's gone Talon. Talon really is just not a good answer to Chem Warrior. That is gonna be way too slow. That is just not a realistic answer, I think. So one of the big problems with Chem Warriors, Chem Warriors are like actually a pretty great unit. One of the big problems with Chem Warriors is in the early game, you have to build a sec you have to build a Chem Warrior against missiles. If you open War Factory which is something you're often going to want to do um, when you have wheels, obviously, and then you want to have wheels plus an anti-infantry infantry. What happens is you open War Factory and then it takes you ages to get your first Chem Warrior, which means that missiles are a pretty big issue in the early game, like, because you have to spend 90 to switch to Chem Warrior. But the real issue is that getting a second Chem Warrior takes absolutely forever because you can't spend enough you can't just spend your next 60 on a second chem warrior because your opponent's going to respond to your first chem warrior with some anti infantry unit and you're going to have to respond to that so the real issue is that your opponent's going to have like two missiles probably running around and they're going to retreat from your chems obviously because they get wrecked by chems and chasing down two of them with a single chem is is going to take you forever you can only really force the lasers or missiles away from one of the pads by doing this when you have flamers, you'll often end up with a second flamer pretty quickly, so that you can fight two different uh, laser slash laser slash missiles early on. But with chems, they're way too expensive to get the second one out, and that's actually one of the big issues with chem warriors. Getting the second one out just takes too long, which means it's you you still struggle with infantry even though you have like one of the most powerful anti-infantry units in the game. Snipers have a similar issue, except that because they're two range. It's much easier to deny a huge area of the map from uh, from infantry because the snipers can cover so much ground with their two range. So you only really need one sniper squadron. Snipers do have a similar issue of just not being able to kill off enough infantry quickly. So you can get overwhelmed by infantry. But at least because they're two range, they can cover so much more ground. Whereas chems, your opponent just runs away from your chems and it's really difficult to catch up. And that is a big problem with chem warriors. Getting the second chem just takes way too long. Alright, so obviously we're going to make our tick tank against bikes. We're going to raider it around for now. It looks like he's going to go air tower because he's doing nothing. He's got mutant, okay. So we're going to get our chems out. Like, I barely had the money for those chems there. And, like, because I built that tick tank, we barely had enough money for the chems even though it actually took him a pretty long time to make his mutants. So that kind of goes to show the, the issue. Now we have the double chems. 
He has buggy. Interesting. He opened buggy, so we knew that. I just hadn't seen one in so long. I've forgotten. But we do have tanks. Tanks are very good against buggy. Is that a scarab? How exciting. Well, that's not a unit you see every day. Oh no, my chem warriors. Sad. Alright, we got him. He was also like level 11 units. Chem DPS is too low, it relies on the cloud damage. Yes, without the cloud damage, chem DPS is not super high. But the cloud dam with the cloud damage, their, their DPS is incredibly good. Also means they're better against bigger squad units, like they're better against rifles and lasers than they are against things like shocks, because the cloud damage hurts everything at the same time. Establishing battlefield control. Electro Max. I know, mate. Since we're opening War Factory, I think we should scout first. Especially since the chems are so expensive. Another bug buggy opening, maybe? It's taking a long time, whatever it is. Looks like it's not a 10 cost unit opening. It is War Factory. Tick Tank opening. Uh, that is surprising. Inconceivable. I will fight the Tick Tank. We will fight them on the beaches. And there's the Flamer. This would be a good time to have Chemical Buggy. Normally Tick Tank decks have Chemical Buggy. Like, my deck is unusual in the, in being a chem warrior rather than chem buggy deck. Get our tick borrowed. It's also unusual to play Jade, obviously, but, uh, you know, that's fine. Giga Cannon. This guy has tick tank and Giga Cannon. What a monster. I'm considering Jade missiling his Giga because I think he probably doesn't dodge it. But if he does dodge it, it's very bad. So I, I think it's, it's not worth the risk. Like, he shouldn't dodge it. No offense, but <laughs> if he does, it's a it's a problem. So I think I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna just try and use a chem warrior jade missile to kill it. This guy's deck is pretty wild. I'm definitely going to try and get a... I don't even know, man. Like, I don't want to Jade Missile my own Tick Tank. And it's pretty low. I can probably just maybe walk up to it and kill it. Alright, there we go. That's what I was hoping would happen. This is enough stuff that I feel comfortable Jade missiling. Although I kind of wanted to wait and see if I could get a Giga Cannon. And it's such a weird game. My opponent's deck is so strange. I've never felt like I want Jade Missile as much as I have in this game. Jade Missile actually looks like it's going to just be good because he has the Tick Tanks and the Giga. He's like really like just focusing on this like setup this weird setting up his locations all right well poggers easy win from my boys the chem chemical warriors yeah easy easy chem warrior mission accomplished establishing battlefield control DJ Simon. Oh, I see some dogs. I'm gonna try and push for his harvester spot. Nah, he's blocking me. He knows. He knows the danger. All right, I respect it, DJ. The name is. I respect the hustle. It's sad that the emotes have regular jade in them, even though I'm using different jade. But I guess they didn't want to make. They didn't want to animate for each vanity. Oh, 
Yeah, see, like, here is a good example of chems being really slow, right? Like, the missile's about to fire. And I've just made my chem warriors. I mean, we actually lose, we lose control of the pads whilst waiting for the chem warriors to come out. This is kind of what I was talking about before, about the chems being a little slow to counter missile troops. And then I have, like, 30 tier, but there's no way I could... I, I could maybe have done a second chem warrior, but at the expense of literally any other units that I would want to make. That would be my whole army, it would just be the two chem warriors, maybe a bike. So snipers are actually a pretty good counter to chem warrior. Because chem warrior is so expensive. I might do... no, I shouldn't. I was thinking about doing a jade missile, but this guy's played reasonably well so far. So he'll definitely be able to just move his snipers back and protect them from a jade missile. I will try and overload his snipers with infantry though. Alright, I think we've pushed the snipers back enough, we should just win here. Hoggers! Oh, I didn't get the Jade missile off in time. I tried. I tried chat. Mohawk Chris. Do we think this guy plays Mohawk? Oh shit. What is... I'm getting infantry rushed? Well that is surprising. I should have maybe moved one of my wheels to block Harvester spot. Probably overcommitted on wheels at this point. Is that people going for my harvester? Fantastic. You'd love to see it. The missile's about to fire, but the harvester's what really matters. Whoops. Oh, that mystic. Oh my god, the mystic again. Alright, it's fine. We got that. So many mystics, though. <laughs> Basically lost my tick tank by uh, by mislooking. Oh whoa, an MSV? What the fuck? This thing should be more expensive. That's my hot take. Like not because it's good, just because like what it does is stupid, and having it be a more expensive piece of the puzzle would be good. So that if you lose one, it is actually a big a bigger cost. <laughs> the ram. Alright, you got it, man. I respect a rammer jammer. I respect a fellow rammer jammer. I'll let you ram me a little bit. <laughs> no, uh, you know. No homo, but I'll let him ram me a little bit. Ruum. Who are we drewing? Is it M? Double Harvester Blind. An exciting Jade Mirror. Maybe I can finally get a Jade base kill in this game. The elusive Jade base kill. It's so hard to do since the nerfs to damage and increase to base health. Mm, I'm just going to tank. She's going to make bikes that early. I'm just going to make a tank. Whoops. Missed the block again, man. What am I doing today? So loose. Oh, 
All right, we'll try and get the chems now. Well, I think I will try and go for the base kill since he's double harvester. Double flames to fight Tick Tank is definitely uh, an unusual one. That is now triple flames. That's too many flames. It's going to make it difficult to get to the base. I actually moved the lasers back, hoping he would shoot them instead of the chems, and it looks like it worked. So that's cool. Dude, stop blocking me. Stop, stop missile blocking me. Look how long it takes to get to the base, man. The game is almost over. I'm just going to fire another missile before I even get to Jade missile him. So sad. Yep. So sad. Abnovac. I should have gone wheels first in case of a rush. I kind of feel like an MLRS is coming. I don't know why. My gut is telling me this guy's playing MLRS. <laughs> ah, how does he do it, chat? MLRS is very good against my deck. Oh, actually, Jade. MLRS cannot dodge a Jade missile, I don't think. I'm pretty sure even with boost, you can't um, you can't move in time. So I do have outs to MLRS. Whoops. Oh, messed that up. That, uh, that guy should not have been in a position to get killed by that shot trooper. God, so many misplays. Come on, wheels, you can kill the MLRS. I believe in you. Let's go, wheels. Yes, yes. Do you see? <laughs> Too good at the game, boys. Too good at the game. I'm gonna go and stack up on his spawn point because we know he wants the MLRS. I'll probably afford to throw a Jade missile now. Then we'll try and stack up on the spawn again. Got him. Let's go. See you later, Abnovac. Would like tank versus pitbull. I think I'm just gonna go tank. Alright, let's see if we can chem his base. Oh, 
Apparently we cannot. You are victorious. Very few Jade base kills so far. This is an interesting harvester positioning, very much indicates double half. Yep, no surprises there. The best thing to do against double half is actually just not attack it. A lot of people seem to think that attacking the harvester is good, but they're wrong. The best thing to do against double half is just to make sure you're charging the missile. Attacking the Harvester doesn't actually do anything, especially if you stall the missile by attacking the Harvester, then you're just delaying and making it worse for yourself. Yeah, see like this 43 second missile, this is this is what you want to do against Double Harvester. Uh, I guess we're going chems. Laser drones are pretty annoying against my deck. I mean, I'm playing Nod, so laser drones are always going to be annoying against my deck. That is a pretty early Centurion. However, I'm not too scared of a Centurion. Don't really want a Jade missile against a Centurion. Love you. Love you too, coach. I'm gonna get on this pad. Alright, easy win. Oh, I should have gone wheel first. It's not a big against against a strong arm. I don't think I'm too worried about a rush. Uh, I have not Jamie. I think I'm gonna just hold on to them for now and not do anything with them. Um, there isn't. This isn't really any way to put a star destroyer. <laughs> like I literally just don't have space for a star destroyer. So maybe maybe when we move, I'll uh, I'll cons if if, I, if there's somewhere to put it, I might make it then. I just didn't realize quite how big it was. It's it's a lot a lot bigger than I realized, which was also something to do with Jamie and college. Am I moving again? Yeah, probably. i we move a lot. Cheryl likes moving. Also, our rent went up, so we kind of want to move. Yeah, this guy's getting demolished, probably because he has level eleven units. Kind of a kind of a sad sad game but then if you play pay to win games like rivals and you aren't willing to pay you're not gonna win them's the beats all right let's go jade his base with plus two i probably just can kill it with a single chem warrior oh no a shatterer what the hell man leave me alone i'm just trying to jade you jade bomb your base it's no big deal We lost one of the we lost one of the bombs because the chem warriors themselves died. Mm, feels good, man. All right, there you go. There is some tick tank jade action with the chem warriors. I think this is a pretty reasonable build of the deck. Uh, there's a few things you could change, like rifles for militants or phantom for stealth tank. But generally speaking, that's probably where you want to be with a, a jade jade chem tick tank deck.
so I hope you guys enjoyed those games, and I will see you all next time.